The city of Roanoke is creating upgrades for the growing number of people choosing to leave the car behind and maybe walk around downtown. It's an effort to make things safer for everyone involved. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer shows us what you can expect to hear and to see the next time you head out. The nuts and bolts are coming together one piece at a time, and while it may not look like much, it's a big step forward for the city of Roanoke. If the environment is more inviting to, to, to be a pedestrian, I think you're going to see more people choosing that route. Ian Coffey is a city traffic engineer, and this has been his baby for quite some time. What we're doing right now is improving uh, specifically 20 intersections through the uh, Pedestrian Safety Action Plan. Uh, PSAP for short. In practice, that looks like this and sounds like that. Yellow lights are flashing. Yellow lights are flashing. Across downtown and other parts of the city, you'll now be able to push a button activating flashing lights at mid block crossings. And at street corners, new audible alerts is on the cross. help let disabled and able people alike know when and where it's safe to cross. To bring awareness to drivers that there's pedestrians that are trying trying to get across the street uh, and uh, and through that uh, to, to make it uh, safer for pedestrians to do so. As more people continue to move downtown, this is a critical upgrade, although those downtown dwellers have one complaint. Coffee says the volume comes preset to max and they're working to turn them down. We adjust those volumes according to how far away the um, the, the pedestrian crossing is from the uh, the audible beacon uh, and then also ambient uh, ambient noise that's in that area. In Roanoke, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you. The city is expecting all of those upgrades to be complete within the next few weeks. Drivers who fail to stop for someone in a crosswalk can be charged with a $500 fine.